everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah and this is Rich and Sarah Learning As We Grow. Baby, we're children of summer, we're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the others, no reason to be. new to this channel and this is your first time watching one of our videos this is not our normal kind of video um, we normally share our family vlogs and our daily life and our homeschooling so it is a channel I think if you homeschool and you're a mom that you will love to click subscribe to and just be part of us on this journey so this year you guys I have tutored for the past three years at classical conversations in Pasadena California and this year I am stepping up as the director of our community and as director I feel it is helpful um, to go ahead and post videos often about classical conversations and tutorials for the tutors in our facility and in our community so today's video is going to be a science tutorial for week one classical conversations cycle two fifth edition foundations guide um, we are using Janice Van Cleve's 201 awesome magical bizarre and incredible experiments and then you're gonna need two thermometers and this is it you guys a book two thermometers and you're ready to do this science experiment. Super easy. I will note that even if you are not part of our Pasadena community, but you're just part of Classical Conversations and you're a tutor for this year and you want to know like exactly how to do the science experiments for cycle two this year, make sure that you subscribe also because I will be posting every single uh, science experiment on here and do a tutorial for all of them. I'll also be giving tips and tricks throughout the year on how to come up with ideas to present new grammar and all sorts of things. So you won't want to miss it. All right, you guys, if you are a director or a tutor, whoever's buying and purchasing your thermometers, I highly suggest that you purchase a good quality thermometer. These thermometers, as you can see, they are made of glass, they're good quality, and they have the degrees written on them very nicely. And just so you know, if you are in my community um, and one of the tutors with the Pasadena, California community, um, I have purchased enough thermometers for all of you. So the day of community day on our Friday, you will have a thermometer two thermometers um, for each of your classes that's all you'll need each student won't need one so each of you tutors there is nothing that you need to buy or purchase or bring to community day for the first week I will have everything for you all right so in looking through our Janice Van Cleve 201 awesome magical bizarre and incredible experiments book we see that we are on experiment number two for week number one of CC cycle two and it is called shaded and the purpose of this project is to demonstrate how a planet's surface temperature can vary so you're gonna need your two thermometers and you're gonna to want to come with me outside here in just a second but basically the procedure is that you're going to read and record the temperature on both of your thermometers after 20 minutes of being in different areas of sunshine and shade so for example you're gonna take one thermometer and place it on the ground in the shade of a tree or another large structure so you want the first thermometer to be placed in the shade you're going to take your second thermometer and you're going to place the second thermometer on the ground into direct sunlight so you want it to be quite sunny and hot and warm um, it is important to note you guys in this experiment that both the thermometers must be placed on the same type of surface so don't put one on like a rocky surface and the other one on a smooth flat like concrete surface make sure they're on the same types of surface when you do this um, you're going to then after 20 minutes you're going to read and record the temperature on both of your thermometers and we're gonna check and look at the results so come with me outside uh, tutors in my community you if you want to get here a little bit early to do this you may do so so you can put one in the shade and one in the sunlight or you may have a parent do it at the beginning of class totally up to you let's go outside all right you guys so we are outside we're actually in my front yard at my home so this is not our community you know area that we're meeting at that facility but so you know we do have an area of shaded cement and sunshine cement in our community you guys I'm gonna take our first thermometer and I'm gonna place it on the grass in the shaded area of the grass because I have a lot of shade it's early morning and we do have a lot of shade right now and Sun so here we go so I'm in a pretty shaded area. I'm going to just place my thermometer right there in the shaded area. And now we're gonna move on to, and now we're gonna move on to the sunshined area. All right, you guys, sunshiny area and thermometer number two. I'm gonna place it right in the direct sunlight. There we go. <laughs> my little oh, boy's, <laughs> my little boy's showing the shadow. It's okay. <laughs> so here you go, here's in the sun. And over here we have, in the shade so 
So let's give it 20 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer on my watch for 20 minutes and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna record the differences. It's All right, everybody, my alarm is buzzing because it is 9.34, ah, it won't focus. It is 9.34 and it is time to check. All right guys, we are picking up our shaded thermometer and the results are showing it is mm, almost 80, 79, maybe that is right on the 80, 80. We're gonna say 80. All right, 80 degrees in the shade. Let's check out what this sun one says. Let me see here, bud. All right, in the sun, it is showing it at almost a hundred. Do you guys see that? Oh my. 98. So here's the difference. Okay. We have our shaded one right here. Okay. Okay. And we have our sun one. Let's go in and talk about the results, guys. All right, you guys, we are back inside from the sunshine and whoa, we'll look at here are our two results. All right, so the first one was almost, this is the shaded one again. We were gonna say it was about 80 degrees, I'm thinking, is what we were gonna say. It was almost 80 degrees. And in the sun, it showed it almost 99, almost to 100 degrees, which is almost 20 degrees more than in the shaded area. So that's crazy, right? So let's talk about why. So the results should show that the temperature on the surface area in the shade should be lower than the results of the temperature on the surface area in the sunlight, which is exactly what we found out. So good job, we did this experiment correctly. Okay, moving on. You might ask yourself, why is that? You have, might have a student that asked that, right? Well, that is, according to Janice Van Cleve, the tree or large structure blocks some of the light rays. So basically the shade under the tree blocked the light rays from the sun, uh, producing a shaded area on the ground. This protected surface area is cooler due to the decrease in light energy received. The same type of surface in direct sunlight receives more light energy and becomes hotter and warmer, which is what we saw with the temperature thermometer that was almost 20 degrees warmer. Um, in the same way, the temperature of planet surfaces can vary depending on weather, the landscape, and how large structures provide shade. So for instance, we live very close to downtown LA. So if we are under the huge skyscrapers of downtown LA walking around, it's gonna feel and appear to be cooler and be less degrees because it's shaded by the large buildings. Um, if we're at the beach and we're on the hot sand, we have no shade covering us and we're directly just receiving those heat rays. So sometimes that will make it warmer when you're in front of heat or if you're laying out by the swimming pool. So I would at this point talk about with your kids maybe some types of animals. Why do animals on a hot day, what do you do? You see, you see your cats, your dogs are kind of over in a shaded cool area, maybe in the dirt, under shade, as opposed to just laying out on the hot cement. And that has to do with they want to be away from the rays of sunlight, which will make them warmer or cooler based on if they're in a shaded environment or a sunny environment. So that is experiment number two, shaded. And let's move on to our next experiment. All right, you guys, so the second experiment for week two in CC, cycle two, um, you will be doing a, it's um, number 17 in Van Cleve, and it is called Same Place. The purpose of this is to determine why satellites appear to be stationary and in one place. So what you're gonna need, your materials for this, are going to be a rope or a string or yarn. Look at my cat got in at this, you guys. But basically, you're going to want to have um, about three yards or three meters long of some sort of yard, um, I was gonna say yardage, some sort of yarn or rope or some twine or something thick and nice like that. Okay, so for this one, I'm actually not gonna take my kids outside to do this because I don't know that we have enough tree space here at our home, but I'm gonna describe it to you in detail and in depth. So you're going to, basically, you're gonna go out in an open area outside. So find something in our community or in your community that looks just like this. Um, you're going to wanna use a tree or a light pole or a light post or some other object that's stationary and standing up and down. Um, and you're going to want that to represent the earth, okay? So if this were my tree or my stationary object, this would be the earth, okay? Okay. So you're gonna want a helper to hold on to one end of the rope as you hold on to the other end of the rope. So you'll need one child to help you out with this and maybe you can take turns in our community day and have each kid kind of try it with a parent or with a helper once you've demonstrated first. So you'll need your helper to hold on one end, you'll need to hold on to the other. So you're gonna wanna have your helper stand near the tree and you're going to wanna walk at a pace around the tree, holding the rope and maintaining it tight. And I'm gonna read this part. You're going to wanna walk at a pace that keeps the rope tight and in a position so that you are in line with the same point on the tree as your helper 
for the whole time you're going around you're gonna to want to be doing this the results of this the person in the outside circle one moving okay the one moves faster but stays in line with the person moving in the smaller inside circle why is that the distance around the outside of the circle is larger than the circle near the tree. A faster speed is required to travel around the larger circle in the same time that the person closer to the tree travels around the smaller circle. This is known as Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites, or GOES, and they are placed at about uh, 22,500 miles above the Earth, and they move at a very fast speed, which gives them an orbital period of 24 hours, which is one day here on Earth. Um, the same as that of the Earth. Thus, the satellites appear to remain stationary above the Earth, but there are more than 120 geostationary satellite positions above the Earth's equator. So here's kind of the example picture that they show. And so you're basically just trying to prove that the person outwardly is having, is having to um, move at a faster speed in order to keep up with the person moving on the inside circle of the tree. So that is what you're doing here, and that is same place, number 17. Right, guys thank you so much for just being here with me as we go over these science experiments for each week this was week one I can't hardly believe that we are getting ready to start CC and that summer is almost over but I'm excited cycle two is an amazing cycle I'm excited to be with all of you my tutors and all of you who are new to this channel and are watching and looking for um, a tutorial on each week science experiment I'll also try to do some art with you guys as well keep on watching here subscribe you'll also see our family life our family vlogs we do a lot of Disneyland homeschooling ideas um all that kind of stuff <laughs> so you won't want to miss it so click that red subscribe button and we'll see you back here next time bye guys